Hello everyone. Here is a video showing uh, I have some problem or uh, some review of the Rigo DP800 series power supply. So let me show you the problem. And if I connect it, a wood beta to any one of the output DC output voltage rail to the ground reference you may see they have 30 something volt AC coupling to any any one of the voltage rail It's gone to the any DC voltage. So if you if you trying to using this Rigo power supply with your oscilloscope, which the reference reference uh, ground level is uh, I don't know uh, reference levels is connected to, to the ground, you may create some problem. So, if you try probing with oscilloscope and connect your circuit board to the ground, and this power supply will give you 30 something volt to your circuit board. Even if you off all the channel by software, on off create the same problem. Or if you connect it, your power supply to your circuit board and you don't want to disconnect because I'm lazy. You don't want to disconnect the cables but you try to turn it off and using your soldering iron which the soldering tip is reference to the ground or even you're trying to to debugging a circuit board and connect this power supply to your circuit board and but at the same moment you are trying to do some ESD precautions such as putting the circuit board on your ESD mat or this ESD echo ESD safe with you also generate 30 something volt to your circuit board I think yes this is still 2, two volt AC so I think this is not Absolutely not acceptable for a lab, a linear lab grade power supply. And if I try to measure with the same in the same case with my HP 6066V2A power supply, this binding pole is connected to the back end of this power supply and it shows only 150 something mini volt which is totally different from this power supply you, you may see 30 something volt versus some mini volts and if I still connect to to this one so this one is the chassis one and the AC9 one. It's, it's the same as any any one if I connect, such as ESD ESD ring to the right goal. It's still so pretty something. What and if I still measuring 
with other power supplies such as this one HP. Sorry. <coughs> HP. This one sixty six four forty two A. It's also servo mini work AC only. And also if I measure with my Kikusu PMC seven A which the voltage turn up to seventy watt with no ground connected to any output no ground rail connected to any output it's only not over one watt AC so I don't know why I don't know why this Rigo 800 serious power supply will create such a lot of AC coupling I don't know what actually is I call it AC coupling to the ground such as such as general switch mode chip switch mode power supply I don't know so I have to connect all channels to the ground reference to eliminate this very something more coupling who will I don't know who will buy their power supply and try to connect all AC or DC output to the ground who I don't know I have, I have not ever seen this the practice but for this power supply even they don't provide the sorting or connecting plane you have to do yourself if you want to do any measurement which connects the ground and I think this power supply is not truly isolated or floating it will create a lot of problems and kill your product or kill your kill, kill your circuit if you try to measure or do something which reference to the ground and the 30 something volt AC will directly kill, kill anything so uh, if you have any any comments, uh, please please leave you down, and I hope Rigo will notice this problem and give us some answers, some some reasonable answers. So that's the end of my sharing. Thank you.